So now I'll talk about importance of environmental ecology. Let's start with the importance of environmental ecology. So if you look into the question paper of 2011, so from that particular year, the environmental ecology has been included as a separate subject. As a nahi tha ki environmental ecology pehle nahi tha. Pehle bhi hua karta tha, lekin ye largely geography or biology ke beech me kahi tha. Lekin 2011 ke baad se, ise ek alag subject ke roop me, syllabus me asthan mila hai. Iske piche mool karan ye raha ki IAS or IFS, yani ki Indian Administrative Services, jise aap civil services kehte hain, और इंडियन फॉरेस्ट सर्विस इन दोनों का प्रीलिम्स एग्जामिनेशन एक ही साथ होते हैं इसी कारण से एनवायरनमेंट पे ज्यादा जोर भी है और इसे एक अलग सब्जेक्ट के रूप में स्थापित भी किया गया है साथ ही साथ आईएफएस और आईएएस के एग्जामिनेशन एक साथ होने के कारण एनवायरमेंटल इकोलॉजी से क्वेश्चन की संख्या भी बढ़ने लगी है और अगर हम 2014 की बात करें तो वहां पे क्वेश्चन की संख्या 20 से ज्यादा रही है it was more than 20 in 2014. So, in the coming year also we can see that this part of the syllabus, environmental ecology will be more in coverage, it will be more important and it will be playing decisive role in the selection of the candidate into the prelims examination. Moreover, this entire area is related to many subjects. It is somewhere between biology, ecology, and geography. So it is truly interdisciplinary or multidisciplinary in nature. That is why many people find themselves uncomfortable and many people find themselves comfortable with this entire thing. So we will try to understand the in entire uh, environmental ecology in the following session. Now let us discuss about the approach required for environmental ecology. Like I told you that the question UPSC is putting into this are interdisciplinary in nature. They have some concept of biology, concept of ecology and then some geographical concept is also included in this examination and the question paper they are asking. Now this interdisciplinary nature and the type of question they are asking that you can get after looking into the pasture question paper. To look into the pasture question paper you can go to the jagranjosh.com there you can find the pasture question paper and you can also find some model paper over there for the further practice. So just keep in mind that it is interdisciplinary so prepare in that manner only. The second area which is very important that when you prepare for environmental ecology to aapko sabse pehla kaam aap ye karna hai kya basic concept or terminology. यानी कि बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट और टर्मिनोलॉजी पे आप ज्यादा ध्यान दें इकोलॉजी के कॉन्सेप्ट्स और टर्मिनोलॉजी बहुत ही यूनिक होते हैं और उसे आत्मसात करना उसे समझना आवश्यक है तीसरी महत्वपूर्ण बात यह है कि एनवायरमेंटल इकोलॉजी से संबंधित मुद्दे कई समय के मुद्दे से प्रभावित होते हैं और दैट इज दैट इज रिलेटेड टू करंट डेवलपमेंट एंड इश्यूज अराउंड द वर्ल्ड इंक्लूडिंग इंडिया सो देयर आर मेनी नेशनल एंड ग्लोबल इंस्टीट्यूशन influencing environmental policies that you keep in the eyes like what are the national and global institution and what are the environmental policy that is being affected by them or being formulated by them. And then you have to keep eyes on environmental conventions and summits to address a particular environmental problem related to a lot of things, right. So this should be the approach, I mean develop multidisciplinary approach focus on to the basic concept and terminologies and then keep eyes on current development and issue in and around the world, right. So this approach should be followed. Now I will discuss about important area to study in environmental ecology. So if you look at the UPSC syllabus, then there is only few terminologies which has been there. Like UPSC says environmental ecology, biodiversity and climate change. So these are the three topic which has been included by UPSC. These are environmental ecology, biodiversity and climate change. But this entire thing can be restructured into different areas. So restructuring of the syllabus is very important and we do it in the light of question which has been asked into the past years. So let's say what are the area we can reconstruct into? 
ecology i mean the basic ecological concept it's a more or less like biological concept so that should be there environmental issues there are lots of environmental issues some issues are related to the agriculture some issues are related to the environmental uh, aspect so let's say environmental issues uh, i mean biological oxygen demand chemical oxygen demand integrated environmental management integrated pest management integrated fertilizer management so these areas should also be included over there biodiversity i mean biodiversity is a very important area which has been included into the upsc syllabus also and here also we will give a very good importance to this biodiversity area so biodiversity basically means all the living beings like plants animals and microorganism that is present in a particular area that is known as biodiversity so just you just need to know about that how to deal with that biodiversity how to conserve this biodiversity how to protect this biodiversity what is the importance of biodiversity and if there is any issue related to the biodiversity and its conservation that should be also part of the study the next is conservational aspect now this conservational aspect is very important because nowadays we are you know going through a lot of pollution lot of climate change activities lots of you know habitat destruction and then ultimately this entire anthropogenic ye sabhi mano janit jo bhi karan hai ye sab biodiversity ya jab vividhta ko hani pahuncha rahe hain to us hani ko rokne ke liye hame conservation ya sanrakshan se sambandhit kanun banane padte hain sanrakshan se sambandhit hame alag alag tarike ijad karne padte hain hame wildlife sanctuary banani padti hai hame national park banane padte hain hame बायोडाइवर्सिटी हॉट स्पॉट रिकग्नाइज करने पड़ते हैं प्रोटेक्टेड एरियाज निकालने पड़ते हैं और फिर उन सबके साथ जुड़ी हुई क्या समस्याएं हैं उन्हें भी देखना पड़ता है तो ये भी हमारा एक बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण एरिया होगा जहां पे हम बात करेंगे इसी कंजर्वेशन के एस्पेक्ट में आप प्रोजेक्ट टाइगर प्रोजेक्ट लाइन प्रोजेक्ट टेलीफेंट प्रोजेक्ट डॉल्फिन जैसी चीज़ों को भी पढ़ते हैं और उसे किसी स्थान विशेष के साथ रिलेट करके देखते हैं कि कहाँ पर किस प्रजाति की संरक्षण की आवश्यकता है the next area is pollution now the pollution has been a very classical area that has been asked into the biology geography and now it can be very well included in environmental ecology so different type of pollution their effect and what could be the remedial action about it that should be there so air pollution sound pollution soil pollution water pollution radioactive pollution noise pollution all aspect of pollution should be there the next area is climate change jalvayu parivartan now this is a big area it includes a lot of thing i mean climate change is just you know a big term which encompasses encompasses through a lot of activities so if we talk about greenhouse effect or greenhouse gases greenhouse emission then it is related to the climate change right so for this climatic change there are lot of thing there are some scientific core principles there are some phenomenon there are some geographical aspect then there are some conventional and summit where we recognize as climate is changing there are some remedial action there are some international treaties there are some convention that we have to talk about the entire thing in that particular area the next area could be biosphere and biome to biosphere or biome ke kshetra mein aap alag alag biosphere ko recognize karte hain usko pehchante hain aur alag alag biome ke bare mein jankari hasil karte hain तो पूरे दुनिया को आप कई बायोम में बांटकर उस बायोम की खास बातों को देखते हैं समझते हैं परखते हैं और उससे जुड़ी हुई मुद्दों को भी आप समझने की कोशिश करते हैं इसके अलावा ये चीज़ें यहीं खत्म नहीं होती कई सारे ऐसे टॉपिक हैं जिसे आप मिसलेनियस इशू में रख सकते हैं जैसे एसिड रेन जिससे क्वेश्चन भी पूछे गए हैं वो एक मिसलेनियस इशू का टॉपिक है कि एसिड रेन क्यों होता है किस कारणों से होता है उसके ऊपर किन किन गैसे गैस का प्रभाव है इन सभी चीजों को वहां पे देखेंगे साथ ही साथ रेड डेटा बुक जो इंडेंजर्ड स्पीसीज से उनकी लिस्ट क्या है भारत में कितनी स्पीसीज इंडेंजर्ड हो रही हैं वेस्टर्न घाट पे क्या प्रॉब्लम चल रही हैं उसके अलावा यूनेस्को का क्या प्रोग्राम है तथा कई सरकारी तथा गैर सरकारी संगठनों का इन्वायरमेंटल इकोलॉजी या इन्वायरमेंटल कंजर्वेशन में क्या भूमिका है भारत में कौन कौन से इन्वायरमेंटलिस्ट की भूमिका रही है भारत में कौन कौन से ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इस क्षेत्र में काम करते हैं इन सभी चीज़ों की एक समग्र जानकारी एक होलिस्टिक अप्रोच में हमें देखना पड़ता है ये सिलेबस का रिकंस्ट्रक्शन है अभी ये मैंने भी इसे संक्षेप में बताया है 
अगर आप इस रिकंस्ट्रक्टेड सिलेबस का एक बेहतर और बड़ा वर्जन देखना चाहते हैं तो आप हमारे वेबसाइट जागरण जोश डॉट कॉम पर जाकर इस यूपीएससी सिलेबस का एक बृहद रूप एक एक्सटेंडेड फॉर्मेट आप देख सकते हैं ना सिर्फ उसमें सिलेबस का रिस्ट्रक्चर्ड फॉर्मेट है होगा बल्कि उन सभी एरिया से संबंधित पास्ट ईयर क्वेश्चन पेपर और आगे के परीक्षा की तैयारी के लिए मॉडल पेपर भी मुहैया कराए जा रहे हैं आप हमारे क्विज प्लेटफॉर्म का प्रयोग कर सकते हैं वहां पे अपनी तैयारी के स्तर को नाप सकते हैं कि आपने किस विषय की तैयारी या किस सब्जेक्ट की तैयारी किस स्तर तक कर ली है इन सभी बातों का ध्यान इस क्षेत्र में रखना होगा लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन आस्ट जैसा कि मैंने कहा कि आप इस एरिया से बीस से ज्यादा क्वेश्चन एक्सपेक्ट कर सकते हैं यानी इसकी संख्या 20 के आसपास या उससे ज्यादा तक हो सकती है सो so, पिछले दो तीन सालों में जो क्वेश्चन पूछे गए हैं उस पर मैं थोड़ा प्रकाश डालना चाहूंगा देर आर सम क्वेश्चन विच आर कमिंग फ्रॉम बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इकोलॉजी आई मीन दिस इकोलॉजिकल कॉन्सेप्ट इज वेरी मच बायोलॉजिकल इन नेचर लेट से नीच पे क्वेश्चन आया है फूड चेन से रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन आए हैं और इस तरह के क्वेश्चन जो बेसिक बायोलॉजी बुक के अंदर यानी कि नाइन्थ टेंथ एन बुक के अंदर या ट्वेल्थ क्लास के बुक के लास्ट यूनिट के अंदर आपको मिल सकते हैं उससे भी सीधे सवाल आते हैं कुछ एक ऐसे एरिया है जैसे इंडेंजर्ड स्पेसीज इन इंडिया उसके ऊपर भी क्वेश्चन पूछे गए हैं जैसे गंगा डॉल्फिन पे क्वेश्चन पूछे गए तो गंगा डॉल्फिन जो एक इंडेंजर्ड स्पेसीज है उस पर अगर सवाल बनते हैं तो इसके साथ साथ ये भी जाहिर हो जाता है कि भारत में जितने भी ऐसे इंडेंजर्ड स्पीसीज हैं उस पर सवाल बढ़ने की संभावना बनती है उसके बारे में जानकारी हासिल रखें उसके बारे में आप इंफॉर्मेशन हासिल रखें साथ ही साथ पॉल्यूशन एसिड रेन स्टील पॉल्यूटेंट्स आदि एरिया से भी क्वेश्चन पूछे जाते हैं तो पॉल्यूशन एक हमेशा एरिया रहा है जहां से यूपीएससी क्वेश्चन निकालती रही है तो पॉल्यूशन के सभी एस्पेक्ट पे कंसेप्चुअल और फैक्चुअल दोनों तरीके की जानकारी रखें याद रखें कि पॉल्यूशन जैसे टॉपिक से ज्यादातर सवाल फैक्ट रिलेटेड होते हैं नेक्स्ट एरिया कुड भी लेट से ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड इंस्टीट्यूशन रिलेटेड टू इन्वायरमेंटल कंजर्वेशन एंड इन्वायरमेंट so in the last year only we saw a lot of question coming from organization and institution unesco man and biosphere program puche gaye i mean red data book se sambandhit question puche gaye so there are lot of question which are coming from the organization who are working for the conservation of biodiversity conservation of the environment so this area will be important now biodiversity and conservation related i told you the importance of this area so there are many points which are coming from this particular area also there have been question from carbon cycle so once they ask question from carbon cycle then any other bio geochemical cycles also become important so carbon cycle is important because it is directly linked to the climatic change or greenhouse effect but then nitrogen cycle oxygen cycle sulfur cycle phosphorus cycle and water cycle these are the areas which become important along with this carbon cycle soil erosion i mean that would be also coming into the agriculture part but the soil erosion soil fertility mycorrhiza and their application their aspect these type of question are also being asked then there are some uh, advanced ecological concept like ecological succession so ecological succession and formation of a community then these type of questions are also coming that you can source from 12th class ncert book and last year they asked the lichen succession so that is the one question they asked and many such areas become important coral reefs in india so they have asked question about coral reefs because coral reef is very rich in biodiversity and then in the recent acidification of the ocean and the recent climatic change this coral reef is going under degradation there is a coral bleaching which is happening so this entire marine ecosystem the importance of marine ecosystem productivity of marine ecosystem and coral reefs in india and around the world that become important wetland location i mean ramsar convention and wetland location because wetlands are also considered to be very rich in biodiversity so what are the wetlands what is its important and where are they located because last year they asked question about the location of the wetlands right so it is purely geographical in nature wetland is ecological concept and then location is more or less geographical concept and then they ask about it so these type of questions are coming which comprises of both facts concept and the general information that we know 
So, you need to be prepared about these particular area. Now, how to get this all question? So, the all pasture question paper is available as I said on to our website jagranjosh.com and it is important to look into the pasture question paper, but it is also important to look onto the model papers which will direct you to deal with the future requirement of the examination. So, you can look into the model paper which is published time to time onto the website and then you can download it for practice also from our website jagranjosh.com. Let's discuss the best strategy for the preparation of environmental ecology. So, to prepare the environmental ecology, the first thing you can do is a basic reading and the basic reading must be done through the NCRT books. So, 9th and 10th NCRT book if you go through, you will find there are certain chapters related to natural resources and ecology and environment. So, there are only 4 and 5 chapter which is there in 9th and 10th NCRT book that is related to natural resource, environment and ecology that you must go with. So, after finishing this 9th and 10th NCRT book twice at least, you can go for the 12th class NCRT book, especially the last 4 chapter of the 12th class which is related to ecology and environment. Now, this 4 chapter is very much important because there are many questions which has been asked directly from those area, right. So, NCRT book you have to cover 9th, 10th and 12th selected chapters. Once you have done with this NCRT basic reading, then you can go to the authentic textbook on environmental ecology. There are many books available. I mean one book is Iraq Barusha, you can get it. Another book is P.D. Sharma, you can get it. So, any book that you feel like it has got the lucid language over there, you can go about it. Third area that obviously environment and ecology is a topic which is very much related to the current development. Lots of burning issues are related to environment and ecology. So, keep keen eyes on to the newspaper and magazine and do in depth study and analysis of the topics related to it. Relate these topics with the organization and the policies. Bharat Sarkar ya Vishwa ki kai sansthayen इन सभी मुद्दों के ऊपर कई तरह की की नीतियां बनाती हैं उस नीतियों को लागू की जाती हैं भारत में भी जलवायु परिवर्तन से संबंधित कई नीतियों को लागू किया गया है जिसमें कार्बन इमिशन को कम करने तथा एक वैकल्पिक ऊर्जा व्यवस्था को लागू करने की बात की गई है उन सभी चीजों पे आपको नजर रखना पड़ेगा व्हाट शुड बी द रिकमेंडेड बुक्स फॉर एनवायरमेंटल इकोलॉजी द फर्स्ट रिसोर्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू हैव इज एनसीईआरटी 9th एंड 10th and selected chapter of 12th. Second books that you can go for is environment material published by IGNU. So, that is a material that is very important. You can get it from any bookshop or IGNU study center. Then Iraq Barucha or P.D. Sharma books on environment that is one standard textbook that you should go for. I mean this textbook is something that you can always look into and you can learn a new thing over there. Uske alawa, NBT National Book Trust की कई किताबें environment और conservation पे आती हैं, कई किताबें wildlife पे आती हैं, कई किताबें biodiversity पर आती हैं। वो किताबें पढ़ने में काफी मजदार भी होता है, साथ ही साथ उसमें कई updated जानकारियां भी होती हैं। आप उन किताबों पर भी नजर रख सकते हैं। उसके अलावा आप India Air Book और खासकर India Air Book के दो chapter environment and energy इन दो area पर भी आप ध्यान रखें इनको आप जरूर पढ़ें खासकर जिस ईयर आप एग्जामिनेशन देने जा रहे हो उस साल के इंडिया ईयर बुक में मौजूद एनवायरमेंट और एनर्जी के चैप्टर को पढ़ें व्हाट शुड बी द अदर इंपॉर्टेंट रिसोर्सेस फॉर एनवायरमेंटल इकोलॉजी अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस बुक्स देयर इज एन ई बुक आल्सो पब्लिश्ड फ्रॉम जागरण जोश दैट इज कॉल्ड एनवायरमेंटल स्टडीज एंड दिस कुड आल्सो बी वेरी हेल्पफुल for the candidate appearing for the prelims examination because it contains a lot of concepts, facts and related things which are examination friendly and useful for the examination. Apart from these books, what are the other important resources? So like I told you, newspaper is one, I mean the Hindu, Danik Jagran, Indian Express. So lots of environmental concerns, issues, news are published over there. You just need to keep eyes over there. For magazines, you can find Yojana. There are many things related to the environment and environmental policies. Science Reporter or Vigyan Pragati, that is also related to the environment. Frontline, 
there are some special issues and article in frontline you can go with there are some websites like website of ministry of environment and forest so ministry of environment and forest website is very useful in getting all the plans and policies related to the environment and their conservation and then ultimately you can come to the jagranjosh.com to get the lots of information related to the environmental ecology from the upsc point of view apart from the question paper the reconstructed syllabus and the model paper so this entire discussion was about the environmental ecology and i hope that this will be useful for your preparation thank you